Oh boy! Hey everybody, my name is Mark Gill. This is Mark's on the Grill. So come on here, guys. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get our whistle dog <whistles> recipe. Thank you very much. Here's the whole thing with the whistle dog. This is kind of fun. For those of you that don't know or I care, I uh, what? I don't know. You don't know? I am from Canada, the Great White North, way up there, and we got a burger chain, uh, a little more popular there than it was here. Although I do see them around every now and then. Maybe there's a part of the country where they're super popular. A and W, right? A and W's a bit a thing, right? Still? So at home, well, I got to tell you this too. My mom, who I'm sure is, I'm sure is watching, because uh, um, she does that. She watches. She's great. Um, she actually worked at A and W, like I don't know, the, the the late 1800s or something, where they did like the the, <laughs> the the roller skates and came up to the window. I love that my mom was one of those roller skating folks. That's fantastic. And I think my uncle was the great root bear. Uh, in, in one of those like, you know, super hot suits in the summertime, just crazy stuff. So we got a little history with, uh, with A&W and they've got like a whole series of foods and burgers. It's like the mama burger, the papa burger, the junior burger, the, the obnoxious teen burger, the whistle dog, which is what we're doing today. So the whistle dog has a couple of, uh, if you want to keep it kind of true to tradition and, and I almost, I almost heard an earful today, man. I got to tell you, I went to go get buns and mom reminded me top cut buns, man. You got to do a top slice that we're going to do a genuine whistle dog. So here's what you're going to need. Some some uh, nice big beef franks, all right? We did the, the, like the big ones. You can do smaller ones, but I prefer a little, a little more meaty of a dog there. You want uh, top buns. These are, you can usually find these in the bakery uh, if you can't find an actual like packaged one and then just cut them down the top and then what I love is right here. Get a little butter on them sides, just like that. Uh, you're going to want relish for this. You're going to want some onions and this is non-negotiable. Yellow cheese. We call it yellow cheese in Canada here. It's American cheese. Uh, did we have a Canadian cheese? I don't think we have Canadian cheese. I'll have to look into that. Anybody? What? Like curds? I think a poutine. <laughs> You're right. You're right. That's fantastic, actually. All right. So let's take this guy. Now, you want to take your bacon, and you want to make sure that you're going to cook this nice and crispy, because you're going to want this to crumble up when we're all done. And then, once this is done, we're going to get into a little bit of bun management. There we go. And I'm going to give you a few tips on getting your uh, propane grill this weekend. All right, let's finish up the bacon here. Hey, um, so we're using a flat top here. Uh, if you're working outside and you got a flat top, that's great. If not, uh, you can bring a pan, a uh, uh, cast iron, basically what that is. And if you're working on a propane grill, I, I want to, if, if you're kind of new to grilling and this is maybe your, your first season, I'm going to throw a little tip at you, okay? And we'll get a little bit more into this in, a, in an episode in the future a bit, but I want you to see something here, okay? My barbecue is on low, like super low, all right? My temperature is almost 600 degrees. Remember, when you're working with a propane barbecue, there's no kind of automatic on-off temperature control. Even on low, with your lid down, that temperature is going to keep going up. So uh, the, one of the best things to do is get a, a thermometer uh, and kind of get to, we'll, we'll get a little bit more into the specific into this later in the week. And, and, and you can kind of keep an eye on your grill temperature. And then at least for the first few cooks on a new machine, this is what I always mean by getting to know your grill, getting to tell you its secrets. You're going to know how long it takes to get to 375 or 450 or, or 5 or 6 or whatever your barbecue goes up to for whatever dish you're do so that that's a good thing to do there I might try that so this is definitely now now hot dogs and hot dogs want to burn they just want to burn it's not like there's a lot of connective tissue in there that slow cooking is going to break down know what I'm saying so uh, if you want to avoid just a black charred mess of a hot dog this is an open lid event without a doubt when you're working with hot dogs don't bother doing a lid down thing it just gets too much to try and work within that three second window of a nice hot dog or a puck know what I'm saying so uh, the bacon's almost done, and then like I said, we're going to do ourselves a little bit of bun management here, and then we're going to get our hot dogs going. Uh, now bacon's great because now we don't have to oil the grill, we're just going to kind of spread this out a little bit. That is one of the nice things about flat top, man, recycling your bacon grease. <laughs> there we go. All right, so here's what we want to do with these, okay? We want to give these, uh, you know, a nice little toast, but it, it's tough. You don't, you don't want to open them up because then they'll split. So a la lobster roll, we're going to kind of just do them side. The bubble, the bubble is so This is what a nice toasty bun looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. Love it, love it, love it. So let's get the other side done here. And then what we're gonna do is we kind of want to steam them a little bit to soften them up. As that side's toasting, we're also gonna give them a little bit of steam in there. And then 
we're gonna get ready to do our hot dogs. So let's do our hot dogs uh, over here first. Now these are split, these guys, see that? So you wanna be careful not to open them up too much so they, they cut in half. But with this hot dog, you definitely wanna split it. So come on over here, we're gonna lay these down just like that. And I want those nice, perfect grill marks. So list a burger press. I think our buns are probably good. Yep, perfect. So let's bring those over here. These are fantastic. Holy cow. That's so awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get our other two here, just like this. And then for condiments, it's a relish time. It's a relish dog. So have a look here. These are, look at this. Come on in here. You can see the steam coming out. Isn't that beautiful? All right, that little bit of steam with the hood there makes these nice and soft so we can open them up just like that. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that perfect? Beautiful. Here we go. This one will give us some nice grill marks. So listen, whether you like that flat top experience for that full side sear, you want those grill marks, man, alive. Doesn't really matter. You can't, it's a hard to ruin a hot dog. When we put them in the burger like this, or in the, uh, in the bun, gives it kind of a little, little envelope. That's the, that's the cheese receiving area right there. That's what that is. So what do you guys think looks better? The one with the grill marks or the ones with the full side sear? Put it in the comment section, guys. I love knowing what everybody's into. Just a second, there we go. Nice touch, huh? Take that extra second, it's always worth it, I promise. All right, so we got our bacon all crumbled here, we got our onions ready to go. So guys, here we go, look at this. We got our split hot dogs, we got our toasted buns, and now the finishing touches. There, from my homeland to yours, is our Winslow dog. That's pretty good. That's all right. Let's have a good peek here. <sighs> Perfect buns. Oh, yeah. Big old beef. So here's what I want. You know what? I actually want to do a taste test. I didn't have a knife, so okay. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's nothing better than a good hot dog. Seriously. Isn't that great? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, my goodness. Wow, I was like, it's better than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, that's so good. <laughs> All right. So that was a full side sear. Now let's try on the, uh, mm, on the gas barbecue. Here we go. Look at that. Guys, that's the magic right there. Meat, bun, topping. Doesn't matter if it's burgers, hot dogs, meat, buns, toppings. There we go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's nuts. That's nuts. That is so good, guys. You have got to try that. Uh, so, guys, my name is Mark Gill. This is Marks on the Grill. Those are whistle dogs, man. Try those out. Catch you next time.